Hello, Geminis. This is your reading for the second through the third. <clears throat> this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Thank you, guys. Cards are jumping out for you guys here. All right, so we have the Queen of Swords here. There's a there's a lot that you have to say to somebody, and I feel like it's regarding a relationship here. Very committed relationship. Taurus got the Ten of Pentacles in the same position. Um, this is Virgo energy as well. But I think that um, you're a little leery about speaking the truth to somebody, but you feel like that's the only way that you can move forward here with or without this person. Okay. A lot of you are defending your home, um, your stability here, and you're kind of going back and forth. And I think that's why you're hesitant about speaking um, about the relationship, because I think right now you're still kind of. You're still kind of wondering, um, you know, do you want to be in this relationship? Do you want to be in a relationship, I feel? Um, or do you want to stay single? Because I think right now you're good either way. But there's some there's something that's lingering from the past, I feel like, that you guys um, really want to address. Something with a past issue, um, maybe a person. There's something that you really want to know the truth about. And I think then you can turn around and move forward in whichever direction that you choose, whether you choose to, you know, get in a relationship or whether or not you choose to be single here. Okay. Let's see what else. Page of Wands there. You guys have somebody that um, has, they have their eye on you. Okay. Um, this energy with the Page of Wands, I feel, is... Um, they're not, they're not forthcoming, this person. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. But they feel like they know something about you, but they're not sure. They're intrigued. They're interested in you. And I feel like this person may be wondering if you're single. May be wondering if um, you are happy being single or if you would be open to a relationship. There's somebody that's interested in you here, okay? And I don't think it's the same person that you want to address. I don't think it's the same person you want to address here. But we'll see. Let's see what else we've got for Gemini. The Seven of Wands. You're also wondering if... You're wondering if you're doing the right thing. You're wondering if your viewpoint is um, legitimate. But right now you're taking a stance of, you know, you think what you think, you believe what you believe, and that's it. Okay? And I'm defending me and mine, basically, right now. Leo energy there. Okay, let's see what else we've got for Geminis. The Ten of Wands. You're tired. Um, I think that... I think right now, you know, you're wanting to build on yourself. And I think this is more about, I think this is more about, um, you know, your individuality. What's good for you. And I think you're really trying to decide right now what is good for you. And you're really tired of thinking about it. You really want to make some headway here. But what you're not willing to do at this point is carry the burden by yourself. You're not willing to do that anymore. Okay? It's like you're done and over with it. You've carried it for way too long and you're just waiting to put it down. You're wanting to put it down. We have the King of Cups here. I feel like this individual... Um, they may have some water in their chart as well. Maybe Scorpio energy. But I think the individual that's interested in you, um, they're feeling some kind of way right now, too. Like It's like this love-hate kind of thing. They're a little intimidated by you. But this person is very lazy like as far as um, their emotions, what they do. 
and they can get angered very quickly I feel if they don't get what they want here um, there's a level of immaturity here with this person okay Scorpio energy there Sagittarius is here Leo's here Virgo's here Then we have the Eight of Wands. Lots of Wands. Lot, lots of activity. Um, you guys may be blocking communication from someone. But I feel like this person really... Either somebody is coming towards you guys fast. I feel like towards the springtime. Um, maybe in the next few days. You may have already been in contact with this person. But this person wants to discuss... Uh, some issues surrounding a relationship with you. This love they have for you. This spark they have for you. Somebody may be traveling to you guys. They may live far away from you. If not far away, you know, within 30 minutes to an hour or so. But they have to travel to get to you. It's not around the corner. Let's see. We have the devil. Yeah, somebody's anxious um, to communicate with you how they feel but I feel like they're angered right now this person has some anger issues is what I'm getting here they have some anger issues this person um, they feel they feel very very attached to you um, they almost have this level of, of damn it they almost have this level of obsession with you they want to communicate with you. They want to be with you. They want to date you. They want to be in your company. But they feel like you've given up. They feel like you've given up. And they're really trying to figure out for sure if you have. Like if you're no longer willing to, um, you know, spend any time with them or, you know, get back together with them. Whatever this situation is for you guys, okay? But they've also got some issues like some, um, I feel like this person may be an alcoholic. They may drink a lot. They may, you know, do drugs. It's, it's something that they're doing. But whatever, whatever they're doing, I feel like, you know, it kind of makes them feel better. Because their natural nature, I feel, is, um, is anger ridden. Like th this person behaves very immaturely, and whatever they, whatever vice they use, um, it, is to like enhance their personality. Is what I get. Okay. Then we have the King of Wands here. Lots of fire going on here, guys. This person's arrogant. Um, they like to, they like to move around. Okay, they can be in relationships, but I feel like they get bored easily. Um, they are very like controlled in a sense. At least that's the way they come across. Okay, but they hide a lot here. They hide a lot, and they're it's like their deep down true nature is very immature. Um, very easily angered, very cocky, um, maybe self-righteous even, this person. But all in all, this person feels very attracted to you. They want to be with you. And they really kind of obsess over you guys here. Strong fire here. Maybe Leo Virgo, um, Sagittarius energy here. Maybe Aries. We have uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, um, and any other air sign like yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel strongly this is you guys wanting to um, get to the bottom of something here and ready to cut out some nonsense if, if need be. All right, guys. So that is what I have for you. And um, I will be speaking with you soon.